Hey y'all, welcome on back to the channel. That is a hog's tooth right there. We are going after hogs. First of all, let me ask if you please to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all, we are getting close to that million subscriber mark, a huge landmark uh, for this channel. I've been doing this for daggum probably 10 years now on YouTube and to reach a million subs would be awesome. So please tell your, tell your friends, tell your family to subscribe to the channel, give it a look, give it a sub. And also Black Friday is upon us y'all, it is time for big time deals. Big time savings at googansquad.com. If you guys wanna receive 20% off, I'm talking our Guggen Baits, uh, all of our Guggen Squad stuff, 20% off we're doing for Black Friday sale. That'll be linked down below. So go check it out when the Black Friday comes around. So we're here at the lease today. I was out here doing some work and doing some scouting. I am still in search uh, for that trophy buck. And so far I've seen a few on trail cans just randomly uh, setting them out, but really a trophy out here is any 10 point that is mature. We don't have any, any giant deer. My dad took a great buck. I took a great cull buck. Um, and there's, there are quite a few cull bucks still left out here. And if I don't see any giants, through the rut, I'm going to end up uh, probably going after another cull buck, just a mature buck that, that needs to go. But what we're going to be doing today is hog hunting. And, and while I was scouting this morning, of course, ran into the hogs again. You know, I saw a nice buck. There was uh, some good does running around that the bucks are starting to chase. But uh, the hogs came in and there was a big old boar in there and uh, they were just, you know, they ran everything out as usual. So the hogs are always on the hit list out here and I want to try to get one of those big boars or big sows that's been doing some breeding out here, making them little pigs grow up to big pigs. And did you guys know that the reproductive rate on a, a wild pig is just crazy? I mean, they are uh, mature breeding age, but before they were even a year old, it's like six or seven months old that they're able to start reproducing again so it's nearly impossible to get rid of hogs but they are fun to hunt and, and even though they are a nuisance animal they run off the deer it is kind of cool that they're they're running around and they're a fun animal to hunt so the thing i've got in my hand right here i've been wondering about for years this is a ozonics ozone emitter and i've always thought these were kind of smoke and mirrors uh, i haven't i haven't believed the hype on them so i thought i'd give it a try and i thought i'd share the experience with y'all we've got kind of a weird wind today it's out of the east and it is a bad wind for most of our our stands and blinds that we have out here this is a good thing to break out today because it's going to be we're going to be getting odors drifting into uh, a lot of the feeder pens and the uh, direction where a lot of the animals come from uh, because all the blinds and stands are set up for a predominant north wind uh, for hunting in the winter months. So I read the instructions on this thing, it's charged up, I think I know how to handle it and how it operates. And we're going to be going to the same area that I saw those pigs in this morning where there were some bucks chasing some does. And I went ahead and I set up a pop-up blind and I brushed it in really good, it looks nice. And I think a lot of these animals are gonna be coming from the downwind direction from where we're gonna sit. So we'll see if this comes in, in handy. So we got about an hour and a half till the sun goes down. So let's go ahead, hop in the meat wagon, head on down to the pop-up and get this thing set up and get ready to go. and brushed in. So to turn this unit on, I'm just going to hold that button. Psst. And it starts putting out ozone. So I'm going to stick this, I'm going to mount this on one of the bars right here and stick it outside of the blind. So the 
wind is coming from the side and blowing through here. I love bow hunting. I love getting close to the animals. It makes it a challenge. I have got out um, some bait, some attractant, some hog attractant. I set out some corn that's just right here in front of the blind. So it's probably, you know, 20 yards right there. And then I've got a little bit more at like 25 yards. So to the pen is like 30 something. So I was sitting in that blind right there. It's like 108 yards away. And a lot of the deer came just to my left too. So just had to be cautious, you know, we could have animals right next to us, but that, uh, that ozone emitter is literally sitting right there. So hopefully it works. We got our first customer. Just down. 
trying to get away from it. Just little buckies. No pigs. Arrow knocked. Ready. I'm ready when you are, pigs. Oh yeah, setting the mood at deer camp with some Edison lights and the big old live oak tree. That's the latest addition here at the lease and I gotta say it is fantastic. Come out here, we've got some picnic tables. I'm gonna eat my dinner here in just a minute. There's an armadillo, 20 feet over here. Where'd that sucker go? Hey, go figure, hogs didn't show up. <laughs> Which is incredible because on my trail cams, in that area, I've seen hogs every evening. Like, they're every evening for the last at least week. So, uh, I'm going to go there in the morning. I left everything in the blind, and we're going to try to get one. You know, the gimmick thing that I thought it was with uh, the, the Ozonics, I was in a new blind, so it was already kind of sketchy with the deer. You know, it was something brand new. I brushed it in well, but... There was no scent being detected though, and I was close, very close. Uh, and the wind was light enough to where they could have got a whiff of me. And even uh, on the downwind side, I had three deer walk from that direction and they never winded me. So, so far, hats off. But I'm gonna sleep well knowing I had a great night and then great outdoors watching some deer and then we'll give it another shot in the morning. So, see you guys in. Definitely on the scent of this doe. I think this is that big buck I saw here yesterday. But he looks like just a big mature eight point, like probably four years old. I don't think he's a trophy buck. But he's a juicy one. So it 
at this point, y'all, the deer have pretty much wiped up my corn and the hog bait that I put out, uh, which was like a ground up meal. They absolutely destroyed that too. They love it. But uh, no pickly wigglies inside. So I think I'm going to pack it up. Maybe give it 10 more minutes to see if anybody comes out, but it's pretty much done. Sorry, bud. You picked the wrong treat to get into. I feel bad for him, but uh, it's on the other side of the property. Not much I can do about that. Apologize. Wait till y'all see how many ducks are about to fly off this pond. Definitely bring my shotgun next time. Every time I fly it, every time I go by this pond, they just, there's like 40, 50, even more of them. Here they go. Look at that. Look at all the ducks. Look at the ducks. I saw where some of y'all commented that I should hunt these ponds out here. Uh, this is my kind of duck hunt right here. You know, just roll out of the camp, come down here, no setting out the decoys. Just get them as they're coming in early. Okay, so thoughts on this Ozonics. Well, I went on two hunts, uh, two sits, the exact same blind. I did notice that the deer were more calm when I had this running. Do I still think it's hocus pocus? No, I think there's some validity to it. Um, but is it the end all be all? I don't know. I probably could have killed a pig or a deer uh, right there had I not had it. Obviously we had deer. It's and again, 15 yards away, same situation, but they were more weary. I could see them coming in, uh, raising their nose. Uh, I could see when they were out in front of me, they were looking in the blind a lot more. They were trying to figure out what was going on. They could definitely smell something, whereas when I did have this on, uh, they were extremely calm. So obviously it needs more testing, but I would say initially there's something to it. And for all those curious, this is the Ozonics HR230. I ordered it off Amazon. And you guys can check it out for yourself. If you're hunting out of a tree or a blind uh, and you got a kind of a weird wind situation, yeah, it might help you out. And no piggies showed up, of course. It's like every time I go hunt for them, they just go into hiding. Uh, but a lot of white tail running around and it's awesome to see that the bucks are getting into full rut mode. Some of the bucks had does pinned down, they were chasing them, they're really running around. This is a time of year where you just, you can sit uh, and see a lot of deer or you can walk around, try to rattle them up. Um, you know, you sense, use all those. It's, it's more fun in my opinion um, than just the deer coming to the, the corn feeders, which they really have not been coming to. The bigger bucks are just on the move chasing tail thank you guys for tuning in to another episode in the great outdoors don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so we can reach that million subscriber mark what will we do for the millionth subscriber video that should be interesting leave me a comment down below and wishing you the best of luck in all of your outdoor adventures god bless you i'll see you soon